Hello? Is anyone there? This is Grim Grinner on all channels. Infected attacks are rampant in the GAT. The government failed. Unified in the corporation. Have a safe day. Desolation. An endless wasteland. Nothing. Searching for a shred of a Welcome to the Wastes. Hey there, Wasteland. This is Grim Grinner broadcasting on all channels to encourage you to check out the merch store for Welcome to the Waste. We've got pins, patches, zines, and more available for sale. All the details are at linktree.com. Are, are, are you doing the meta bit again? It, um, I mean, is it really meta if it's just, like, an ad for the merch store? It's meta if you're doing it as Grim, like, you're surviving in the wasteland, but hey, buy some merch, gang! Uh, I don't know, I felt like it'd be more fun, especially as, like, a kind of filler section or something there like that. You're dropping a comment about a filler segment in a filler episode. Yeah. Like, couldn't you fill this with, like, fan fiction or, like, corporate interruption or something like that? I don't know. I mean, I already wrote those segments for later in this episode. In this episode? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. I just think you could have done something else instead of, like, show for the merch store. Yes, but think of it this way. Okay. I could... <laughs> I could probably clip this and use it for, like, social media or something like that. And, I mean, people really liked the meta stuff earlier this season. I mean, yeah, so did I. I yeah. Well, you've been working hard at it. I get when you can pick it up. Exactly. And, like, with Pin of the Month and the new zine coming soon, mm-hmm. I really want to do some fun stuff for all of that. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry to know. All right. Uh, do you want to help me close this out in that case? Sure, yeah, awesome. Alright. Head to linktree.com and check out the Welcome to the Waste merch store for all the fun waste wearables. <laughs> Alright, that was great. Now we gotta record Sam and War boy screams and wasteland dreams. Dirty, dusty, rusted metal scraping. Sounds of static, screeching through the dry sky, torn up, twisted, scaring the sane, bringing peace to the feral and mad, cooling the lone wastelander scorching in the sun. Flashing lights, voices in a cacophony, blending the dirt and rust with neon and chrome. Despite the similarities, the leather, the rust, the dirt and dust, I can still feel different disconnected. The dirt on my face comes from a different wasteland, not less than, just different, like me. Even when feeling distanced and different, struggling with forging my own path, I remember this wasteland is vast. Despite sometimes miles of dust between, my voice still screams from radios, cutting through the static, helping those who wander to not feel lost. And in turn, I am found. I am witnessed. Given the reports of radiation storms in the area, it has been deemed unsafe for all agents, regardless of ranking. In recent outpost news, The scrapyards to the north were raided yet again by an unknown source. While these junkyards contain nothing of any current value to us here in the GAT, the theft of corporate materials carries with it severe penalties to those outside the walls. Increased patrols have been dispatched to that region to catch the culprits and bring them to justice. While it has not been determined if R-77 is behind this, there is still a chance of the GATs most wanted were having something to do with the raids after the brazen attack on the former Haven Reclamation Zone. All patrols being sent to that area are encouraged to use extreme caution and to report to Agent Zeta if R-77 is spotted. Orders are not to engage with the target until told otherwise by Agent Zeta or other high-level elites. Reports from the eastern edges of the Static Lakes that the Order of the Cataclysm have been making their way towards our walls have been determined to be... Okay, Tanner, so you gotta set up your stats before anything else. Cause then you can make a better choice on what you'd be best at, do you feel me? Uh, Sam, I really wanna play a gearhead, like can I just go with that and then do the number stuff after? I mean, sure, but you might end up with a set that's better for like a hunter or something, and then it might not be as fun. Okay, I, I guess you're right, I wanna have fun. That's the spirit. Numbers of the enemy. But sometimes you gotta work with your enemies to get where you want. 
So first, you want to take these four dice and roll them to find out your first stat number. See? That's a 15! And you can put that in any one of those little bubbles, or write it down somewhere to sort it out later. Is it, is, is it 15 good? I, I guess then I want to put it in... Ch 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 oh, charisma, so I can be all smooth talking like my dad. Well, I wouldn't call him a smooth talker, but he is charismatic in his own way, I guess. But, I don't know, why don't you just write it down for now and see if you can get a better roll. And then we'll pick your background and stuff, okay? Okay. And, Sam, thanks again for teaching me how to play this. Like, Longshot and Grim are always talking about their games with Jailbreak and Ghost Crash. And, like, I want to play, too. Oh, it's no problem, kiddo. You know, I grew up playing Basements and Goblins way back when it was in first edition. Oh, yeah? Back then, there were only three backgrounds to choose from. We ended up getting in real fights sometimes. Oh, in boy. fact, there was this one time. Me and my buddy Klaus were taking on a bunch of something or others, and then he pulls a knife on me. Klaus? Yeah. What? Welcome to The Waste. This is a Wasteland podcast brought to you by Edward Grim Grinner Hutchinson, but made possible by Wastelanders like you. If you'd like to support the show in a fun way or get some merch, check me out on Patreon or on Etsy. The links to both of those, as well as all my social media, can be found at linktree.com slash welcome to the wastes. See you in the wastes.